Hi everybody, welcome back to Enlisted and in today's short video we're going to be covering some real basics about um, basically safely moving around the map. So how for you to get around the map, um, how to keep your squad alive um, and uh, killing enemies. So we're going to be covering some really, some real sort of first person shooter basics really in this, this video. So the first thing we're going to talk about is centering. So what is centering? So this is common across first and third person shooters. So the idea of centering is that as we're moving around, we know that if we aim down sight like this, like that, um, we're going to aim down at the center of the screen. Oh, yeah, pretty sounds pretty obvious. So what you should always be doing as you're moving around the map, you should always have the center of your screen where you think the enemies are going to be. So I'm moving towards the B flag. So I should, if I think the enemies are going to be there, poking their head out over that parapet, that's where I should have my center of my screen. Now, in some games it's easier than others. So in Enlisted, there is no crosshair on the screen as we're wandering around. Um, in the old days, people used to put like blobs of blue tack on the screen, that sort of stuff. Right. Okay, we couldn't really help that being... <laughs> Being killed there, so let's go back to uh, this chap, our, our uh, radio man. So as we're moving along, say we're moving up here. Now there's a chance there could be a guy hiding there, or there could be a guy in these trees, couldn't there? So we just want to be centering, so that we're always keeping the centre of our screen where we think the enemy are. So that if we have to aim down sight, we can snap onto them quickly. Also, if we've got a uh, hip fire. We can hip fire them on them as well. Now this becomes very, very important when you're actually moving through. Um, spawning again. When you're spawning through uh, through buildings. Now, there's, unfortunately, I don't think there's any buildings we need to have a go on this map. But let's say we're moving along here through this wooded area. Um, as we're approaching this tree here, you know, we would make sure we would keep our centre away from the tree because we know that the people are going to be to the right or left of the tree. In fact, there's some buildings over here. So let's head over to these buildings. So as we're centering, we're just keeping the center of the screen where we think the enemies are gonna be. So as we approach this barn here, I guess it is, we know that enemies are most likely gonna be on the edges, aren't they, peeking around. So you center, so you keep the center of your screen at the edge of the barn. So that if you have to aim down sight, you can quickly snap. So as we go around the corner, we know that enemies could be on the edge. So again, we're keeping that in the center. So we're always ready to aim down sight and uh, be there. So so that's basically is centering. So let's talk about first person uh, shooter right hand advantage. Now, what is right hand advantage? Well, if you look at my character and almost all characters in first person shooters and third person shooters, they're all right handed. So I'm just calling in some artillery on us. But what that means is that, it, you know when you use a gun and you aim down a gun, you, you don't stand straight um, at per perpendicular right angles to the angle of the gun, do you? You, you, you kind of stand in line with the gun. So that what that means is if I'm standing by this door here, if I stand like this with just a little bit of the scope over the edge, the only bit that an enemy will be able to see out there of my body will be a little bit of my gun, my right arm, maybe my right shoulder, a little bit of the right hand side of my leg. That's all they'll be able to see. So if I was kind of kind of doing like this, bobbing in and out, they would only see a fraction of me. However, if I'm standing over on this side and doing the same thing, most of my body, my most of my head, all of the centre of my body and the left hand side of my body, my left arm will be visible to the enemy. So although when you look down sight, here and you can think well okay there's only a little bit of a, the site showing compared to that side you know they're the same you're actually when you're on this side um, exposing an awful lot of your body so what that means is as you're moving around if you can you always want to be going on the right hand side of things like this so exposing as little bit of your body as you can like this so you'd be going around this way rather than going around this way because if I have to peek Around this side, I'm exposing most of my body. And that is uh, first person shooter's right hand advantage. Um, let's talk a little, about, li little bit about head glitching as well. So, head glitching is basically what it means is in most first person games, and I think probably enlisted this is true as well, your bullets don't really come out the end of the gun. <laughs> 
they come out from where you're looking so what this means is you really want to always try and be setting yourself up on little ledges and little cover where you're just firing over the top of them so your head is just pe peeking up rather than being up here like this and exposing an awful lot of your body um, i mean that kind of makes sense i mean for example around here you'd be better off say using right um using first person right handed uh, advantage here to do that and then see if there's any little glitches that we could use there's kind of a little glitch here with this fence I mean you could probably shoot through that fence but as you can see we're kind of, kind of doing that there now let's talk about um, not peeking twice as well so let's say we were engaging some enemies over there when you when you look around the corner and shoot always in shooters you would always not peek twice because if you shoot and there's someone over there looking through that window and they see you the first time you pop round they'll go oh there's someone there and they won't have time to shoot at you but then they'll get set up and they'll aim down sight and they're ready for you to shoot again this is so what you would do is you should run round to the other side like this for example and engage them from this side this is doubly important in enlisted because often what happens in enlisted is you'll, you'll peek around a corner you'll kill one or two people um, which may include the real player that's in, that's playing with you. Um, but then, they all then have the time to flick to one of the other characters in their squad, one of the other AI teammates, and they'll know exactly where you are and then return fire. So especially in Enlisted, a couple of shots, kill a couple of people or one person, then move where you are so that they're not expecting you to be in the same place. So let's use that um, right-hand advantage on there to engage engage that and that's how you should be moving around the map sort of centering so keeping say we say we're going into this house we're, we're center now if we look through the window we know that the stairs are over there so we want to be centering so that if there was someone waiting up there the center of the screen is exactly where that is so we could hit fire and then for sim um, or we could aim down similarly as we come up here we know people are probably going to be over there so again just kind of get ready that way to, to zap that through um, when you're working windows as well you always want to be working the angles like this from side to side like that rather than like this you never want to be standing in the middle of a window looking out if you want to go straight look straight out back right off and shoot from the back of the room otherwise you want to be working the angles like that so you're putting it through nice and easy and that's how you move around the map nice and safely. Now, to get from objective to objective, you see where we are now. We're on the A flag, aren't we? If we want to get to the C flag or the B flag, we don't just go from A to C. What we would do is we would go over there into that portion of the map and we would flank. Always be flanking A, B, C, uh, A, B, C, A, B, F. So, C, ooh, oh, we're dead. Let's spawn in again, this chap. So that was a good example. So we want, they're probably pushing from there, aren't they? Oh no, we're being assaulted. Right, so let's spawn in as a new squad. So again, if we're going towards the A flag there, we wouldn't just run this way. We want to be running all the way over here. To get round the outside into cover. This takes you longer. Like this. Then we cut in. Because all those people on the A flag, they're going to be concentrating on all our teammates running from B to A. Here come my teammates. As we run round. And then we should be centering as we're going, uh, going along that way. Now, let's talk a little bit about squad survival now. So as we're approaching our objective, which is the A flag, what you want to be doing, as you're getting fairly close, we want to be using cover here. As we're getting fairly close, you want to leave your squad um, away from the objective. So as you're moving with your squad, you want to give them a squad order and say take a wide uh, uh, position. But then when you get close to the objective, because you don't want them all running and getting killed because they're great at that, find somewhere where there's some cover, aim down there and then double click X on... Um, Xbox, um, what is it on PlayStation? Let's have a look. It will be square on PlayStation. So you're saying defend that spot, and then you can aim down sight and press up on your D-pad, and they'll look towards that position. You can even lie down, and they'll lie down. So they're going to stay there now. So I can now 
move in on this position. Now, when you're approaching uh, places like this, like houses where you're going to have to run in, and maybe you haven't got an automatic weapon or you haven't got a fast-firing semi-automatic, how you're going to be killing people is with your knife. So your knife is... Oops. Let's get back to my character. Your, your knife is tap on the right on the D-pad and you get your knife out. And then it's press Y on Xbox or um, triangle on, on PlayStation and get it back. So as you're approaching, if we wanted to assault this house, literally uh, what I would be doing, especially if you're using a bolt-action rifle, is I would be switching over to my knife and then running like mad. The knife is so good up close. You can get loads and loads of kills with the knife. And now if your character's got a secondary or a, a revolver, obviously you can put you can get that out but I would still say in close quarters combat in houses and bunkers and things like that get your knife out and run around with your knife you'd be amazed at how many um, how many people uh, how many people you can kill with your knife and then switch back to your um, your main weapon now when you're actually in the objective you can now say well come on then lads and you can call your squad in and they can come in and they can help you on the on the objective and do that way so there we go, that's basically my golden rules for moving around the map. Uh, think about centering, so always have in the middle of the screen where you think the enemies are going to be, so you can snap on them, we can hit fire them really quick. Use right hand advantage as you're going round. Um, push pusher's advantage is, is something we haven't really talked about, which is, woo. Pusher's advantage is where it's often better to be moving than not moving <laughs> when you're in close quarters combat. Um, because that's the old, the old idea of what, you have a little bit of lag. Um, so that's why if you're sprinting around, it can be difficult for people to hit you because you're actually moving ahead of them on on the server. Um, try and find those little head glitches where you can just see over the top of, um, of cover. Um, don't peek twice, especially because it gives time for the uh, real players to switch AI and then to start shooting back at you. Um, keep your squad at a distance when you're getting close to an objective and as you're assaulting objectives Don't be afraid especially if you haven't got a submachine gun or a pistol to get that knife out and use that knife when you're in close quarters in those houses um, or in those bunkers um, and uh, And there we go and if you do that and follow those rules you'll probably find you'll stay alive for much much longer Anyway, that's enough for me. Hopefully you found that video useful if you have done hit the like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe And I will of course see you again soon